Well, you cannot re-elect me to council this time, but you can return me to council, and that's what I'm asking you to do. I am thrilled to be part of the 2015 Team Rockville. I think it's such a great slate of candidates. I love being on the council from 2009 to 2013, and of all the candidates for council or for mayor, I'm the only one in those four years, there's two of us running, but I'm the only one in those four years who can claim to have voted for the police station, who can claim to have voted for the senior center improvements, and for the Goody Drive maintenance facility, the facility that keeps your uh, snow plows going during the blizzards. I'm the only one who can claim to have voted to bring Choice Hotels International to our town center. <laughs> Choice Hotels coming to our town center led directly to a hotel in our town center, a long, long standing goal of the city. But further, it led to a vast reduction in the subsidies we had for our town center garages. I saved you a pile of money. <laughs> and that would not have happened without Choice Hotels coming in. I'm also the person who put, who wrote the resolution that put Redgate Golf Course into private management, also saving you a pile of money, but also improving its long-term prospects. Now I know this city in ways that few other people do. Before I was elected to council in 2009, I biked every street in the city. And I got to know how the diversity of the neighborhoods and how they connected to the commercial centers and to the parks and the schools. In 2014 and 15, after I left the council, I walked the city. I walked every street in this city every park, every public school campus, and some streets immediately outside the city, 519 miles of walking, 204 trips, 10 and a half months, from 20 degrees to 90 degrees, I walked the city. I found a street that wasn't on our city maps. I found, I made about 30 suggestions for improving the bike map. I learned a few things. We are indeed a hustling, bustling city, and for that we should be grateful. But there are some issues. In our town center right now, there are about 15 empty storefronts, either in town square or within a block of town square. And that is stunning, given the amount of money we spent within the past decade on our town square. Other neighborhood centers have empty storefronts. King Farm has several. Brockshire Village Center is virtually empty. There are empty storefronts in Twinbrook. They are never a good thing. This city should be looking to renew those centers so that they become attractive, vibrant centers for the neighborhoods instead of being a detraction. We are spending too much time fighting last century's battles. When I look at the future of the city, I look at, look at it through the prospects of our very own children. Will they be able to afford to live here and to work here when they are young adults and will they want to? And my friends, that is the hallmark of a hometown that we want to be. <laughs>